if you would, your thoughts on the win. Um, hello. Um, thoughts on the win. Um, very weird match. Weird dynamic of the match, but um, very tough as every match here. I think I played good in a in the key points, uh, meaning when I had a break point or I was serving for uh, for a game, I always pull out good shot, I think. And and um, yeah, I'm happy that uh, I I managed it in two sets again. Thank you. Name and affiliation, one second. <laughs> one second. One question, please, so I can get around the room. Hi, Carolina. Hi. Congratulations. Thank you. Um, Obviously up to you how much you want to share, but I just wondered if there was anything about what was going on physically in the second set that you would feel comfortable sharing or whether it's a concern for, for tomorrow evening. Yeah, thank you. Um, yeah, I'm fighting it back a little bit. I'm, I'm a little sick. Um, I hope that didn't disturb anyone that I was, uh, it, was really, it never happened to me before, um, but I really needed to go off the court um, when I get a chance to go. Again, I hope it didn't <clears throat> didn't disturb her, uh, didn't disturb the people. But um, I usually don't do these things. I don't like to do it. But um, I had no other choice than than to always uh, take a um, yeah use the bathroom. That, that's it. Peter. Uh, Peter Bodo, Tennis.com. Uh, Carolina, you've struggled a lot with injuries. Can you talk a little bit about how difficult it is to have to rebuild your game and come back? And is it more of a mental thing or a physical thing? And also, did you speak with Dominic Team about his wrist problems? Um, injuries. Uh, I don't even like to talk about injuries, but um, yeah, it depends what kind of injury. I've been through a lot of them and and um, yeah, this last one, the wrist uh, surgery, was um, one of the most, one of the worst ones uh, that I had. And um, yeah, it's you know now looking back, I'm like, oh, it it actually flew by the time, and I feel strong again. But um, when I go back to um, February, uh, I have to say I wasn't always that positive. Um, it was tough moments. Honestly, when I couldn't couldn't move the arm and um, couldn't do much, but um, yeah, I mean it's few bad days, and then I always try to just regroup and and focus on the step that I can do. It was the like first step that I could do towards recovery, and and um, I had really great team of doctors around me and my team who is with me all the time supporting me. So uh, we worked a lot to and and through every uh, injury, we always uh, stick together and work on it to to get it to get healthy again and and uh, be able to play and I'm, I'm just now very grateful for for all of those people that are that always have my back and and um yeah that I'm here playing uh, pain free there was a second part to the question uh, yes did you speak with dominic oh, oh never okay brian uh, brian Mahoney, associated press uh, you know you only got obviously 10 matches or so coming in here is your game where it was last year when you got to the same round at the U.S. Open? Tough to say. I, um, um, I didn't. I don't know. I didn't even look at the matches how I played last year. I felt really good here playing, but um, before quarterfinals last year, I got injured with the with the wrist, which is now good. <laughs> uh, so it's little. A little different, I would say. And I feel pretty fit, besides <laughs> besides the that I'm a little bit sick, um, but the body is um, fine. So um, the game wise, I think every match here, uh, I feel better on court, and um, that for sure helps. So more matches uh, and getting through that experience on the court again, that that helps a lot too as well to be more confident and, and feel the, my shot. So I, I would say, tough to compare. I would say probably, yeah, yeah m maybe similar how I played last year. I for sure still have a big uh, gap that like the stuff that I can improve. That's what I feel like. But um, yeah, I'm, I think I'm doing, um, it's it's okay. <laughs> hey, Carolina. Matt Hello. Yeah, athletic. When you get on these roles, whether in Paris last year or here last year or now, 
what is it about your game that you start to feel that signals to you that, okay, I'm doing what I want to be doing, and I'm at the I'm I'm at the level where I can really go far in these tournaments. Um, I'd say it's the feeling, and it's it's as well the the confidence when I hit. Uh, basically, when I'm aggressive on the court and hitting winners down the line, going to the net, when I feel confident to do that, and when I uh, start started to win those points, um, they kind of yeah, like gives me the good feeling on the court, and then I trust my shots, and I'd say then it kind of creates my game. Court, and then David. Carolina, congrats, uh, thank you. Uh, WTA. Um, you could play, play Iga or Jess, obviously, in the next round. If it is Iga, for example, I know you guys practiced before the tournament. Um, she was quite supportive of, of you coming back, um, also on, on social media and stuff. I'm curious what it is about both of your guys' games that kind of creates these these interesting interesting matchups, and what do you, would you make of, of facing her if you do? Against Iga? Uh, yeah, it was very nice. Uh, she really supported me when I got uh, when I got the surgery. It's always nice to to get that support, especially from her being world number one. I think um, the best player that there is. Um, yeah, I I kind of feel like you know we know each other since I don't know. It, it was maybe one of hers and one of my first WTA tournaments in Prague that we played first time that we met there. And then we played a few matchups as well in the COVID in Prague. And then um, we practiced last year in Warsaw. I came to, so we have, I would say, little connection there. And we always had great practices. It's very intense. It's um, it's nice. So, um, yeah, I mean, she's world number one. It's always a challenge to play her, to practice with her. And um, uh, they're a nice team. So it's just, um, just cool. David. Hi. Tennis.com. Congratulations to watch you play and to see what kind of athlete you are. It seems like the injuries and even just getting sick this week feels like a lot of bad luck. And I'm just curious how you deal with the frustration of bad luck. Is it positive thinking? Is it having a plan? Is it a sense of humor? How do you get through it? Um, I think I'm kind of used to it. Um, never to that what I was going through today. But um, yeah, I was struggling a little bit. But um, we all struggle sometimes with some things. So I was just trying to do all I could on the court to feel better, um, to ask for for some pills, some help. Um, and uh, yeah, I just tried to use uh, all I could as well. To, I, I tried to play shorter points. Um, and um, yeah, I just took it in a way. Let's do um, all I... <laughs> it's written here on the court, like, uh, you know, the ashes thing. Uh, I don't know how it is, but it's like... Do what you can with all you all you have today, or something like that. So I was uh, keeping that in mind. But Willie, last question. We didn't cover the possibility of facing Jess. If you are to face Jess, what do you look back on from having played her before, and what do you make of the way <clears throat> she's playing now and the challenge ahead? Yeah, she's playing unbelievable. Um, uh, Toronto title and then finals in Cincinnati. I mean, um, she's on fire. Uh, obviously, having great confidence playing this deep in the tournaments week by week here as well. We played, yeah, uh, on the parking lot in in Cincinnati. Uh, that was tough battle. Um, a little bit different conditions. I would say it was very tough to play there, but but uh, she's just great player, playing very deep in the court, good mover. She didn't give you one. Uh, she didn't give me one point for uh, for free. So very, yeah, very tough tough battle. Thank you. Let's transition to check. Thank you. Thank very you. Much. Thank you. Be done.